One state south, deep in the North Carolina wilderness, outlaw shiners Mark and Huck reopen their heavily camouflaged still site after four months of winter. We just need to see what we need to fix, just clean things up. As a mountain man who keeps his distance from civilization, Mark's perennial challenge is how to make money while reducing the exposure that comes with bootlegging. Guarantee you that'll work. Turn the water on. His solution this season? Produce a super high proof moonshine that will sell for twice the price. Ready? We'll fix and find out. Ooh. Here comes the water. Well, we got plenty of water, I know that. Get all this little <laughs> out of here. There's some leaves in it. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this year. Come up with a plan to double to stale everything. If you run it twice, you get more alcohol out of it. It's smoother. I believe I can make half a liquor and make the same amount of money. I ain't gonna try to make a 1,000 gallon this year. If I can make 500, be fine. Yeah, I'm making double the money on it. Mark's plan relies on double distillation to produce a spirit that's super high proof, yet smooth and easy to sip. The first stage starts with a pot and condenser to run the mash, resulting in liquor around 110 proof. Then they'll re-distill that liquor in a second still, consisting of a pot, thump keg, and extra long condenser coil. By carefully controlling temperature and running the second distillation very slowly, they'll avoid the transfer of harsh tasting fusel oils and terpenoids to the final product. If the plan works, they should end up with a great tasting liquor at upwards of 170 proof. We have to build another pot. Well, I'll build one when I've got one. Let's go look at it. Let's go. See what you got. Right here it is. Fifty gallon. It's the work perfect. Huh? I ain't used it in about two years. All we'd have to do is just bust that clay out. Be a lot quicker than building one. Yeah. To set up the second stage of their double distillation process, how hard that clay be bust off it? They'll repurpose a copper pot from an old still, then rebuild the furnace that surrounds it at their still site. And we just need to take all these little chunks like that right there with yeah, us. Yeah, we just have to work it back in. That clay furnace holds the heat better than anything you can get out of the store this first build of furnace. It stands heat better than anything. Good looking pot. Back in the Great Smoky Mountains, Mark and Huck return to the woods to reconstruct the brick and clay furnace that will house the second still. Mix up a little mud now. Yeah, this ain't no different mixing mortar mix, cement, or whatever. Same difference. That's about right there, Mark. Uh, that red clay, you know, you can use it for a lot of stuff. Back in the day, you know, they chinked uh, cracks in their log cabins, uh, fixed their fireplaces, their chimneys with it. But in this case, we're going to make a moonshine furnace out of it. We're getting there, ain't we? A brick furnace surrounds the pot with indirect convective heat eliminating any direct contact with a flame that could scorch the mash and give the liquor an unpleasant burnt taste. Well, it's just drying pretty quick. Keep my hands wet, that way it don't get so tacky. Pretty good, don't it, huh? That looks good to me. Now we gotta do is get her flake stand in. Set him down. That darn perfect car, eh? Pretty good. That looks level. Yeah. Now, this flake stand has not got a worm in it. It's a condenser. I can run it a lot faster than it normally would. Yeah, it'll work. That's good, ain't it? Boy. We're going to bring in the flake stand for the second pot with a worm in it. We're going to run it real slow. This purifies it better, makes it real smooth, and uh, be a lot higher proof. What we need to do now is set our mash in. We'll be in business. Turn the water on. So we're going to go ahead and mash this in one barrel, and uh, it'll be a working while we're getting our other flake stand built, setting the second steel up. Yes, yeah, our first batch, Huck. Yep. I'm just going to mash in this pure old corn, this old moonshiner recipe. This corn, malt, and sugar. I like it good as any, and that's the goodest thing to start on. Ready for the malt. First mash in is always a good feeling. You know you're getting started. You got to set a barrel up every day for seven days, and that way we can run every day. That's the first barrel, ain't it? 
You got her set up. Now then we get all the rest of this stuff set up. We'll be good shape. Yeah, we about got it whooped, ain't we? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it ain't gonna fit in there. We're gonna have to take this down. I can see right now. Just rip her out of the ground if it come up. There we go. Every time you set up a new stale site, you have to dig more, change things around. The more level ground we can make, the better. You can bring the same old pot, same everything back in after winter, you know. You still have to do some shoveling and leveling and this way the ground settles and everything. You just always work around the steel side. I just have to build a trough now from that into that. But we're gonna have to modify the bottom end, do we? So both flakes stand. You get water. It'll be a pretty neat little waterfall, I think. I think the water will come in the second flake stand fine, but uh, we ain't got no way to get the water out away from the box. And, you know, it starts running over, making a mess. We got plenty of buckets. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and you this far back in the mountains, uh, it's a long ways out of here to get something, so. If there's anything laying around that you can see that'll make it work, you better use it. I believe this'll work. We're gonna take this old water trough right here. I'm gonna try to put the water off right over there. That'll keep us out of the mud. Get it started. Probably one big root in there, and that's probably worth it. Wouldn't doubt it. Get somewhere where I can hit it better. One of the funnest things about being a moonshiner, you get to build something all the time. Oh, yeah. Every day you gotta fix something. This solid work around the steel. There's always something to do. Right about there. Huh? Look at that. Well, I guess I need to turn the water up. Yeah, let's see if we got everything right. She's a rolling, ain't she, huh? It's a roll. That's the good, clean, cold water that's right out of the mountain. You can drink this water. It's the best water they are to make moonshine with. Here we go, boy. Yeah, boy. It's working perfect, huh? Here it comes. That's going to work, though, ain't That's it? working good. I guarantee you there ain't nobody around to have any smoother liquor than we got. <laughs> <laughs> 